Hello, everybody. It's Wednesday, December 3rd. Hello. What the? You're watching Runner Space Live. Ian, what is this? <laughs> well, I cloned you. That way we can double the productivity of Runner Space Live. Ah, I knew I shouldn't have given you that glass of my blood and strand of my hair. I love tea and crumpets and the Beatles. Why does he talk like that? I, I also taught him to speak in a British accent. Oh, that's disturbing. Um, I don't think this is going to work, Ian. I mean, you can't even tell us apart. No, you can. That's, uh, that's why I gave him that cowboy hat. Coming up next, you're watching the oh, awkward video, video of the week. That's my line! You son of a... I must say, Ian, he does look pretty good. His accent really does it for me. If if we kissed, would it be like a master? No, no, Matt, Matt, no. Okay, well, screw it. I don't want to do the runner space run down. Do I wash my hands of this. All right, then it's the runner space rundown. Here we go. Well, all right, it's the high school rundown. Windsor Plainsboro of New Jersey, who moved from 19th in the U.S. to 4th, won the Nike Cross Nationals Northeast Regional, led by sophomore Joe Rosa. U.S. number 15, Lincoln Sudbury High School, won it on the ladies' side. Kelsey Carriage won the race, leading U.S. number 7, Newton South High School of Massachusetts, to a runner-up finish. U.S. number 6, Tottenell Girls, won the Southeast Regional, while U.S. number 20, Jamestown Boys of Virginia, won it for the men. Brian Atkinson ran 15-11, and Amanda Winslow ran 17-34. Individual the New York Regionals, U.S. number 11, Shenandoah Howard Boys. Won it in eight points back was U.S. number 19, Fayetteville Manlius. On the ladies' side, renewed U.S. number 1, Fayetteville Manlius Girls. Won it with an amazing 25 points over U.S. number 17, Saratoga Springs. At the California State Meet, Jordan Hesse won her fourth state meet title in a time of 17-18. While U.S. number 2, Saugus High School won their third state meet in a row. On the guys' side, sophomore Elias Gadeon ran an amazing 15-01 for Loyola High School to win the state meet. While U.S. number 2, Donna Hills beat out U.S. number 9, Buchanan. There were also three footlocker regionals this weekend. Hooray! Bill Matthews ran 14-48 and Kathy Kroger ran 17-13 to win the South Regional. Solomon Haley ran 15-21 and Emily Jones ran 17-31 to win the Northeast Regional. Megan Gothos ran 17-31 and Jacob Zivak ran 15-09 to win Midwest Regional. I do look forward to this next weekend as West Regionals and Nike Cross Nationals are taking place. And don't forget, kiddies, that the Nike Cross Nationals race will be live right here on Runner's Face Com, home of the official Nike Cross National site. It's the College Pro Rundown with the college season over. The pro action is really heating up. Ooh, it is hot. Like tea, which I love. Taruka Bekele won the International Cross Country Race in Yodio, Spain. This last Sunday in a time of 29.31, beating out silver medalist Leonard Patrick Coleman, who was eight. Now, what about Tariku's brother? Oh, no, it looks like his world record-holding brother is out for the entire indoor season. Yes, I'm talking about Kinanisa Bekele. Simply tragic. At the women's race in Yodio, Spain, teenager Lynette Masai of Kenya won the race by over a minute in an impressive 25-12. Lynette, of course, is the world cross-country bronze medalist and world junior 10,000 meter record holder. She has a bright future, I'm sure. Saturday at the Abudu Ranch Mountain Race in Nigeria, world cross-country silver medalist Mesta Watt Tufa fell down just feet from the finish, losing the race and the $50,000 prize. Andrea Mayer won the race. And in a little track and field news, Usain Bolt's coach Glenn Mills told a Jamaican radio station that he will not rule out doing the 400 meter dash, going for Johnson's world record but, but if he does it, it will not be until 2010. Oh, I can hardly wait. And last but not least, a biologist at Stanford University published a paper saying that the world record in the 100 could go no lower than 9.48 seconds, the 200 world record could go no lower than 18.63 seconds, and that the marathon world record could go no faster than two hours. I predict that Tyrone Estrebaba and Celestia Sheen's baby will break all three records. Oh, it's the road racing rundown. All right, that's it. I can't take it anymore, British B. How about I'll just, I'll just do the road racing rundown, okay? Here we there go. There were a lot of 
Turkey Day runs around the nation, but the most fascinating was the Synaptic Elite 5K Turkey Trot in California, where Division II national champion Scotty Boz had his professional debut, running 1337 and beating out four Kenyans who took the rest of the top five spots, running a personal best and course record and winning $3,000. Martin Fagan of Ireland won the Turkey Day Manchester Road Race, beating out Harone, not Bernard, Lagat, in a time of 2141 for the 4.748 mile course. Oh, it's the luck of the Irish, don't you know? Also in Manchester, U.S. Olympian Amy Rudolph was second to Taba Nasser, who ran 24.59. At the HBA Great Australian Run, marathon world record holder Haley Gabriel Solasi was gunning for the 15K world record, but fell a little short due to windy conditions. He still ran 42.40. Craig Motram was supposed to be his main competition, but got fourth, running 44.08, and was beat by fellow countryman Collis Birmingham. On the latest side. Olympic silver medalist Catherine Nidareva ran an impressive 50-43 to win by over 45 seconds. And that's the rundown. And that is the rundown. Ah. So that's our show. Ian, he Hello. is really annoying Hello. me. Can we just, you know. Hello. 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 Hello, mate. Hello. 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 Hey, uh, British Hello. me, that tea Hello. looks really, Hello. really good. Uh, do you think you might want to drink a little bit of it? Right now?